my loves welcome and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be starting a new series called prepping for christmas where we do all the deep cleaning in the house you guys know this is nothing new every time a new year is about to start again we deep clean the house so that we enter the new year with a fresh decluttered organized home so we're going to be starting in the entryway i'm going to be removing everything fall goodbye fall i am so sad to be removing my fall decor this year feels like it just flew by i don't remember much about this year which is kind of sad but i am very excited for Christmas because Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I just love it. It's the air smells different. It just feels different. I'm just a Christmas girly, okay? <laughs> so we're going to start by taking out everything fall. We're going to just wipe down everything, remove everything, and just get into those cracks and crevices that has not been touched for a very long time. I've been really considering changing out all of the curtains in my home, especially with the entryway and the kitchen. I'm really considering adding shades to the windows, but I'm not sure if I should just leave it until a later date or if I should do it now. I kind of like these half curtains that my husband have at the windows because they give you that privacy you need at the bottom, but you can also see out of the window at the top. I'm thinking if I tint the windows and then add a shade, when I lift the shade, I'd be able to still have that privacy that I want and also get in that sunlight that I also want. What do you guys think? So I just used a window cleaner to clean the glass of the window and now I'm using a mixture of very warm water from the tap. It's not too hot, comfortable enough for my hands with some dish liquid and vinegar. And I find that this mixture is well known <laughs> and it also just degreases everything that needs, you know, that extra help to get off of a surface so when it comes to the heater this cleans the top of it so easily because you guys if you have heaters in your home you know what i mean that dirt at the top there just gets really stubborn why i have no idea but it feels almost like glue <laughs> no matter how many times you do it because i do clean my heaters regularly it's just that you cannot stop that sticky dirt from getting on it so this really helps this solution really helps with removing it easily I'm going to be cleaning down my doors in the entryway with that exact same solution like I said the solution is very inexpensive and it gets the job done I don't clean down my doors every single week or month, but I do get those door handles and that light switch every single day with a disinfectant because we touch those areas just a little too much. So we need to make sure that we're not passing along germs to others in the home. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and clean down all the doors and make sure that we get rid of any little marks that can be removed. When 
when it comes to deep cleaning a space, you want to take your time out to actually focus in on different areas of the home on different days because you do not want to experience a burnout. You don't want to feel overwhelmed. You want to make this, you know, as enjoyable as you possibly can. Turn on your music and whatnot and just focus in on one part of the home. I find that this works very well for me i don't feel stressed at the end of the cleaning and i'm ready to get the next room started said it <laughs> so i decided to rearrange the furniture in the entryway because you guys know this entryway has only one little window and i'm always struggling with sunlight i mean today is really gloomy but no matter how bright the sun is out this room never gets a lot of light and i won't even talk about the light fixture above so i'm trying to you know change it around where i can get more light into the room and hopefully the room looks a little different as well because you know i'm tired of it looking the same way <laughs> so we're just gonna do that play around with it live with it for a minute and then if we don't like it what do we do we change it again we have reached the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to give your girl a big thumbs up comment down below because you guys know i love chatting it up with you guys and if you're not subscribed as yet please remember to hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video see you guys in the next one